each one of us should never underestimate the power of dua and supplication. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do anything. Nothing is impossible for him. Repeat what you want and repeat it again and again. And do not be shy to repeat it a million times. If you have conviction, a day will come. You get it as you want it by the will of Allah, if he wills that. Nothing is impossible. You know, Muhammad sallallahu made a powerful dua with us when someone harms us in a small way, brothers and sisters, or even amongst us as Muslims, someone did something maybe that was not so, you know, according to the belief of Islam. What we do? May Allah destroy him. May Allah break his bones. May he suffer loss. May he have this. May he see. May he be fixed by Allah. These are the types of dua we make because we are weak. We want to fix this man and sort that one out and do this and do that. So we are making dua for the destruction of him and he is making the dua for the destruction of us. So we head nowhere. But look at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa The biggest enemies of Islam, two people. Who were they? Abu Jahl. You know Abu Jahl? His name was Amr ibn Hisham. He was a dirty man. He inflicted bodily harm on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and Umar ibn al-Khattab was really a man who was powerful. He did not want to hear the name of Islam or Muhammad And he intended to go out and kill Muhammad But on the other hand, here is the Nabi, the one who was sent. We have not sent you, O Muhammad except as a mercy for all the worlds, for all kinds, for all creatures. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us from that mercy. He says, Allahumma a'izz al-Islam bi ahad al Oh Allah, I ask you to grant strength to Islam by one of these two enemies who are strong people. Let them accept Islam, soften their hearts. Let one of them come through so that at least Muslims can be strengthened. Imagine the type of dua. Imagine the dua. Look at the heart. Look at Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's example for us. He is saying, oh Allah, you soften the hearts. Bring forth one of these two. And no sooner did he make that dua. Within a short moment comes Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu. He enters the room. He sees the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. They look at him. They see a bit of blood stain on him. And he says, Ya Rasul Allah. That's how he addressed Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. These people are ready waiting to say if this man intends any harm we can swipe him and he says inni ashhadu alla ilaha illallah wa ashhadu annaka abduhu wa rasuluh i bear witness there is none worthy of worship besides allah and i bear witness that you are the messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it was over he was softened he was put completely to the level where he became so powerful that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says if Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu treads on a gully or an alley, shaitan will never tread the same gully or alley. Always on another one. Shaitan, imagine, the devil knows not this man. Allahu Akbar. May Allah grant us some strength at least. Allahu Akbar.